Hey everyone, so I went to fill out the Paycheck Protection Program, which is this document from Bank of America, and uh, it asks you to go to bankofamerica.com SBR resources, and what they ask you to do, it says you must have a pre-existing business lending and business deposit relationship with Bank of America, and then it explains the Federal Paycheck Protection Program will be administered online only, and clients must have a business online banking account. And if you do not currently have a business online banking account, you must sign up for one as soon as possible. Uh, and then it gives you the link. Now, I am a proud holder of a business bank account with Bank of America. So um, it, it, then it says it will contact you and so on, right? It gives you the information here. You have to have your payroll, independent contractor costs, and so on, okay? All, all this is public. You can see it online and everything else. Uh, I even posted this on Oakland News Now. But so I go in to the secure page, and they ask for your business bank account online credentials. In other words, your credentials to access your account as you would review it online, right? So I do that, and I'm thinking, hooray! And then it gives you this button to push to go in. And I'm not showing you that because I don't want anybody to think that they can figure out how to determine my access credentials. But I push the button to go to fill out the Paytech Check Protection Program application. And this is what I got. Boom. Look at that. That is the JSON. That is a... Uh, type of JavaScript program language. And this is essentially in the header page section of the website. It took me straight to this, okay? And you have a, a rather not so funny selection between JSON raw data, which is says that it's timed out, and then the header, which shows you basically uh, that the server is on keep alive and you know all these things that the, the server normally does when it has, Da, 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 da. something like a table problem. Now, it may very well have been caused by high traffic and the server's inability to accommodate Maybe the amount of traffic that it, it is experiencing. My mom says it might have crashed. There you go, yeah. But what they should have done was, rather than have a whole new website that's not operating well, they should have, with its own separate access area, if you have to go in your own bu your business bank account, why not just let you go into your account and have a link from your account to the form page and then not deal with this problem? Maybe its standard system couldn't handle the traffic? I don't know. But if that's the case, then they should have a gate where you can take a number and they pin you back with a link and you can respond back and you get in with that link as a way of spreading out the traffic and your home free, at least in theory, right? Or how about a better website? The Obama administration had a very similar problem when the economic stimulus package was rolled out. And what happened was that they had a website designed by a Washington-based firm which had no previous experience in developing high traffic, easy to use, fast responsive websites. So Chris Hughes and the gang who originally started Facebook with Mark Zuckerberg jumped in and developed a brand new website for the uh, for the Health Care Act, for the Affordable Care Act, and it worked beautifully. Right now it would seem the Trump administration is in the same boat with Bank of America because President Trump says everything's going well. Great, but here is a problem that needs to be fixed right now, and it can be fixed. Bring in Silicon Valley, let them help. Bank of America should know that. Uh, this is something that shouldn't happen. Fix, 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 fix. And subscribe to Zenny62 on YouTube and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com.